What are the remedies of fatty liver? Hepatic stetosis is another term for fatty liver. It occurs when fat accumulates in the liver. Small amounts of fat in your liver are normal, but too much can be harmful to your health. The liver is your body's second largest organ. It aids in the digestion of nutrients and the removal of harmful substances from your blood. Too much fat in your liver can cause inflammation, which can damage and scar your liver. Scarring can cause liver failure in severe cases. Alcoholic fatty liver disease occurs when fatty liver develops in someone who consumes a lot of alcohol AFLD. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease occurs in people who do not consume a lot of alcohol NAFLD. According to a 2017 review of research, NAFLD affects up to 25% to 30% of people in the United States and Europe. The Symptoms of Fatty Liver Fatty liver can develop in four stages. 1. Simple fatty liver, excess fat has accumulated in the liver. If it does not progress, simple fatty liver is largely harmless. 2. Statohepatitis, in addition to excess fat, there is liver inflammation. 3. Fibrosis, chronic liver inflammation has resulted in scarring. However, the liver can continue to function normally. 4. Cirrhosis, scarring of the liver has become common, impairing its ability to function. This is the most severe and irreversible stage. Both AFLD and NAFLD are present in the same way. However, the fatty liver does not always cause noticeable symptoms. However, you may feel tired or have discomfort or pain in the upper right side of your abdomen. Some people with fatty liver disease develop complications, such as scarring of the liver. Liver fibrosis is the scarring of the liver. Cirrhosis is a potentially fatal condition that can cause liver failure if you develop severe liver fibrosis. About the types of fatty liver disease? Fatty liver disease is classified into two types, non-alcoholic and alcoholic. Although it is uncommon, fatty liver can occur during pregnancy. 1. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, occurs when fat accumulates in the liver of people who do not consume a large amount of alcohol. You may be diagnosed with NAFLD if you have excess fat in your liver and no history of heavy alcohol use. Simple NAFLD is a condition in which there is no inflammation or other complications. NAFLD includes non-alcoholic statohepatitis, NASH. It occurs when the accumulation of excess fat in the liver is accompanied by inflammation. NASH may be diagnosed by your doctor if A. Have an abundance of fat in your liver B. Your liver is swollen C. You have no history of binge drinking NASH, if left untreated, can lead to liver fibrosis. Cirrhosis and liver failure can occur in severe cases. 2. Alcoholic fatty liver disease, AFLD A lot of alcohol is bad for your liver. The earliest stage of alcohol-related liver disease is an alcoholic fatty liver disease AFLD. Simple alcoholic fatty liver occurs when there is no inflammation or other complications. A type of AFLD is alcoholic statohepatitis ASH. It occurs when an accumulation of excess fat in the liver is accompanied by inflammation, also known as alcoholic hepatitis. Your doctor may suspect ASH if A. You have too much fat in your liver. B. Your liver is swollen. C. You consumes a lot of alcohol. If left untreated, ASH can lead to liver fibrosis. Cirrhosis, severe scarring of the liver, can result in liver failure. 3. Acute fatty liver of pregnancy, AFLP. Acute fatty liver of pregnancy, AFLP, is a condition in which excess fat accumulates in the liver during pregnancy. It is an uncommon but serious pregnancy complication. The precise cause is unknown, though genetics may be a factor. AFLP usually appears during the third trimester of pregnancy. It poses serious health risks to both the mother and the baby if left untreated. If your doctor diagnoses AFLP, your baby will be delivered as soon as possible. You may require follow-up care for several days after giving birth. Within a few weeks of giving birth, your liver health will most likely return. Natural Remedies for Fatty Liver 1. Improve your diet In general, you want to eat a diet high in fruits and vegetables, as well as foods high in fiber, such as whole grain bread. 
sugar, trans fat, salt, saturated fats, and refined carbohydrates are all forbidden substances. And, of course, no alcoholic beverages. In any case, it's just empty calories. Even within this category, some foods are superior to others. 2. Drinking coffee. This beverage appears to reduce the number of abnormal liver enzymes, which can lead to health problems, in addition to being a stimulant. According to studies, coffee drinkers have less liver damage than their non-coffee drinking counterparts. 3. Vinegar of apple cider. Take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and mix it with warm water twice daily to reduce fat in your liver, reduce inflammation in your liver, and aid in weight loss in general. It's a 3 out of 3. 4. Eat broccoli. Broccoli may not have been a childhood favorite, but research published in 2016 found that it reduces fatty buildup in mice. If that isn't enough to persuade you, greens in general are beneficial, kale, Brussels sprouts, and spinach. 5. Eat lemon. Lemons are high in vitamin C and antioxidants, which aid in glutathione production. This enzyme works in the liver to neutralize toxins. Simply squeeze one lemon into a glass of water and drink it two to three times per day. Do not buy lemonade from the shop. Those are sugar-filled. 6. Tofu, soy paneer. According to a University of Illinois study, the same protein that makes tofu an excellent meat substitute also helps reduce fat buildup in the liver. It also has the added benefit of being low in fat. 7. Eat papaya. On the exotic side, papaya fruit, particularly the pulp and seeds, is excellent for fat burning. Eating the fruit is simple, but for the full effect, grind the seeds, add water, and drink daily. 8. Oatmeal. While the healthiness of other breakfast foods can be debated, oatmeal is universally praised for being good for us. Carbohydrates provide energy, and the high fiber content aids in weight loss. 9. Walnuts. Do you dislike fish? You should because it contains omega-3 fatty acids, which help to reduce fat in the liver. Walnuts are another good source of omega-3. So, if one doesn't suit you, try the other. People who already have fatty livers benefit from walnut consumption, according to research. 10. Avocados Avocado, like eggs, can get a bad rap because it's high in fat, but it's a healthy fat. The type we require in our systems. According to one study, eating avocados can help prevent liver damage. And, once again, high in fiber, which aids in weight loss.